In this video, I'm going to explain some strategies to practice and improve at using Mouse Excel. If you're new to Mouse Excel and you're looking for more of a settings guide, check out the video in the top right corner of your screen. Now the first thing I do is I train on a sense that's close to whatever my Excel cap's at. For me, that's usually around 25 centimeters per 360. It doesn't have to be an exact match, it's not like you're memorizing some distance or something, it's just important to be close so that you can practice controlling your fastest sense or like a sense around that difficulty. This is important as it means you're more likely to hit your initial flick, and on the initial flicks that you don't hit, you're more likely to be close to the target, which means less adjustment time. This will also get you really good at tracking enemies who are close to you or moving quickly, as these people will likely make you hit your sense limit or at least close to it. Now I know a lot of people who are pretty accomplished who hate switching Excel on and off again and they just like to leave it on all the time or leave it off all the time so this may not work well for you but I have found a ton of high scores both immediately after switching Excel off and immediately after switching Excel on even compared to the scores I hit after two weeks of only playing on mouse Excel so I can say pretty confidently that at least for me switching Excel on and off a lot can help me out. In my experience, it's very rare for something to only apply to one person and not work for other people, so either I'm having like constant flukes or this will be a viable strategy for a lot of you, so I'd really recommend trying it at least once or twice. Of course, training on this 25 centimeter mark will also come with standard benefits of high sense training like better wrist and finger control and precision and stuff. Before I can explain more training techniques, I have to ask you to subscribe. I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday with aim training content and I don't want you to miss any of it. Another cool way to get used to rock cell is to use a sense randomizer. Sensitivity randomizers will get you more comfortable on a changing sensitivity as well as having a variety of other benefits I explain in the video on the top right of your screen. You can use a sensitivity randomizer with rock cell shut off or turned on. They both have benefits. Now of course another way to become better at rock cell is just to use it. Now of course when you optimize your rock cell for one set of scenarios, another set of scenarios might feel a lot harder. Now for me, I I optimized my rock cell for static clicking. Now this meant that my smoothbot and PGTI felt a lot harder than they did before I used raw excel. However after playing these scenarios for a bit and getting used to tracking along that part of my curve where the sense changes very rapidly, I got a lot better and now I think I'm even better at these scenarios with raw excel than I am without it. Now just because your curve is optimized for something doesn't mean it'll be immediate high scores. It did mean that for me, and it could definitely mean that for you, but it also might mean that you need to take a couple days to like a week to learn the curve. If after this time you're still not close to your high scores, then I'd recommend looking back into your curve, you probably didn't optimize it correctly. Excel is the opposite of a sense randomizer. It's a tool meant to make aiming easier, not a challenge to make it so that you progress further. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more content like this.